I've had an interest in in depression and you know getting people to speak about these kinds of issues. So what what I've landed on is um, looking at how depression is pictured in the media, particularly in visual media, so stock photography. What I did is I looked at Getty Images and I looked at the top 100 results that came up when I searched for depression um, and analysed all 100 of them. The um, actors pictured in the images, they were probably about 60% women and 40% men. The majority of, of the people pictured in the images were white. Um, maybe only five people of colour um, in the total 150 images that I analysed. And then other omissions were um, absolutely no one with a disability. Um, I have been diagnosed with depression. Um, I was diagnosed in grade 11. From what I've seen, it's, it's always this girl that's lying in bed and her bed's just perfect and it's very Tumblr type of thing and she's in an oversized jersey and she's got a mug of tea or coffee or something with her and her hair is perfectly in a messy bun and she's just lying on her bed and there'll be some ridiculous quote that doesn't, you know, mix with the picture. And they make depression seem like, they romanticize it and make it seem like it's just, it's something that's fine. You, it's just, go to sleep, it'll be okay, you'll wake up and you'll feel much better. I would say it misrepresents me because it's not me just lying in bed crying. Depression is me trying to focus in class. It's me actually trying to get out of bed. It helps me get closure when I put my feelings onto paper. I don't like talking to my friends about it and I don't want to go to the, um, the counselling centre. I'll create a character and write the story and put her or him in it and they'll then become me. I've been depressed for a very long time. I just never got clinically diagnosed until I started um, seeing a therapist in Gramstown. The thing is, where I'm from, they don't recognize depression as a thing. They don't recognize um, psychological disorders or psychological sufferings as a thing. So, you know, you're always kind of meant to just suck it up. I mean, most of the images that you get online are images of of people being alone, being in solitude, being in like a corner, you know, and there's, there's all this darkness, which in some ways, in the mildest way, at least for me, I feel, represents what it actually is, what it actually means to deal with it. Those images, they don't, they don't show you, um, you know, that fine line that you're constantly having to tread between making the choice to live actively and just committing suicide, for example. I mean, I've, I've been in stages where I'm suicidal. I don't remember when the mental illnesses had started, but I just do remember these depressive episodes coming upon me during high school. Firstly, I wasn't taught anything about depression. I had little to no idea what was happening. And number two, there's a huge stigma against it. It's just more that I can do everyday things that people think I can't and think of that I am incapable of. And that this is just one little part of my whole daily routine, which involves meetings and part-time work and academics and seeing friends and going out to eat. So my imagery of depression is just something that is in me, something that I didn't want, but I have to live with it. I don't really see it as an image, I guess. I just see it as something that's just part of me. It's in my brain. If I could, I would get all different types of people with depression or depressive episodes and ask them to create their own imagery whether they would be using stock images or maybe creating an artwork or photography so that people can see that, first of all, this is re representing like different demographics, but also that depression is such an individual journey. It's impractical to say that there should only be one image. It's just creating more um, and actually working with people who have experienced this um, to kind of find ways that are more inclusive and also 
more representative of different people's experience. So even a, a series of images accompanying an article or a story um, might do a better job of, of explaining people's experience.